the 60 grants that were awarded the $7 million uh, were intended to provide models of which uh, school systems could replicate uh, programs to prevent dropouts, but I find that many of the decisions that uh, were made to grant uh, this money to different school systems and organizations were not done in a very sound basis. Speaking of not on a sound basis, some of the agencies and school systems getting these grants don't seem to have much of a dropout problem? No. Uh, uh, for example, Polk County is getting a $100,000 grant, and they don't have much of a dropout problem. In fact, they have one of the highest uh, graduation rates and lowest dropout rates in the state. And you find that schools that were awarded some of these grants, uh, Athens High School in Wake County and Hoggard High School in New Hanover County, have uh, really low dropout rates compared to some of the more struggling schools in the state that are having a significant problem with dropouts. Some people might also be surprised to learn the types of things that are covered by these grants. It's not just uh, something that focuses on academic rigor or uh, dealing with particular problems of dropouts. There are some unusual items funded with dropout grants. Without a doubt, uh, one of the more unusual ones is uh, funding of life coaches in Edenton Chowan school system, uh, one full-time and three part-time life coaches for 60 students and their families. Uh, and uh, another program is a STEP program, which is a, a dance program uh, for students. It's uh, hard to determine exactly what the connection is between life coaches or dancing and dropouts, but uh, you find that in these cases there isn't much of a research basis for making uh, uh, a grant to an organization that would prevent dropouts uh, for a program like this.